Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada. I'm Don Culver, and I'll be your host, and thanks for tuning us in. Now, I was thinking that since we just experienced the beginning of a new year, it would be a good time to take a look at some easy ways we can take a mental reset and prepare for a more productive year this year. How great would that be to just get a jump on the year? I know I would like that a lot. You might like that too. Well, while doing my research on our topic, how to mentally reset for the new year, I found a great piece online from UAB Medicine that I want to share with you. The following suggestions can help you reset for a happier, healthier, and more productive year. They're easy to understand and super easy to put into practice. You know, sometimes it's the simplest ideas that can get us the best results. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> I sure have. Anyway, here we go. It's easy to get discouraged after only a few short weeks on one's New Year's resolutions and to give up and go back to living life the same old way. Research shows that following the smart guide below gives you a better chance of success. So let's check it out. First, be specific. Call mom once a week versus improve relationship with mom. Next, be measurable. Walk three times a week versus get more exercise. Set attainable goals. Lose two pounds per week versus lose 10 pounds by the weekend. Be relevant. Save 5% each paycheck versus become a millionaire next year. And be time specific. Stop drinking sodas by March 1st versus cut down on sugar. And here's some areas to consider, including in your mental reset. First, get a work slash life perspective. Your job is not your life. It only finances your life. The busier you get, the more you can get lost in deadlines, conflicts, and customer complaints, etc. With the rush and stress comes a natural loss of perspective. Try to engage each week in some planned, purposeful activity that is wholly unrelated to your job. Planned purposeful activities that change your focus and create temporary healthy detachments can help you avoid getting lost in your work. Next, beware of the perfect holiday illusion. Don't spiral into worrying about what a perfect holiday is supposed to look like. Life's messy, disorganized, and unpredictable. Instead of focusing on real or imaginary holiday shortcomings, make a list each day during the season of one thing you're proud of and one thing you are grateful for. Keep the list handy and use it as a pick-me-up all year round. Overcome procrastination. The most important task is just getting started. Organize and prioritize with a list what you need to accomplish this week and this month. Break down your workload into daily bite-sized chunks. Pay attention to depression. Depression is not in your head. It's in your whole body. Depression is a real treatable disease, but only if you know it. Depression may be the result of genetics, environment, lifestyle, or combination of factors. If you're having trouble shaking the blues, schedule an appointment with your doctor sooner rather than later. Stay active. Regular exercise makes you feel better physically and emotionally and can help manage your stress. If you have trouble sticking to an exercise pattern, set small goals and start incorporating more movement into your everyday life. The body's response to alcohol, reactions to alcohol vary based on biochemistry and genetics. Those with a family history of alcoholism are at the greater risk of developing problems. If your drinking is a problem for you or the people in your life, take action. Don't shy away from getting screened for alcoholism. 
check out an AA meeting and it could change your life. So there's a lot of great ideas and ways to mentally reset in your life. The two biggest roadblocks are number one, getting started, and number two, sticking with it. If you can't get past those roadblocks, you're pretty much screwed. Just saying. Now, if you're listening to that voice in your head already, it's already saying, ha, huh, a mental reset won't work for you, or maybe you've tried to change in the past, it never worked. It's not going to work this time. Please start easy and take small steps and small bites to avoid discouragement and burnout. I know you can do this. Well, that's all I've got. So until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.